Okay, thank you. Thank you very much here. Thank you very much uh, to bring me he here. <coughs> I'm speaking on behalf of the French Consul General, Brice Roquefeuille. My name is Jean-François Labrie. I'm the uh, Deputy Consul General here in, in Rio de Janeiro and I work for the French government. And I'm pleased to be associated to the, this opening ceremony of this international workshop on uh, insecticide resistance in vectors of emerging uh, arboviruses. You know, I'm not very uh, <laughs> know about this uh, with you, but I'm, it's a pleasure to me to be here with you because uh, the thing I know is that emerging or more traditional diseases like Zika, Dengue, Malaria, Chikungunya uh, are considered by the World Health Organization as a priority. And therefore, researchers on this field are obviously very important for us. A severe Zika epidemic, for example, the epidemic struck Brazil at a very bad time. I remember them. I was just before here, uh, just before the Olympic Games uh, here in Rio de Janeiro, and at this period, I could see that the impact of this disease on people and as well on the economy, the Rio de Janeiro, uh, was a huge, uh, a huge thing. And I'm quite sure that in this workshop, uh, it will be a, a, a great opportunity to learn a bit more about the mosquitoes' resistance to insecticide and thus an opportunity to fight uh, this disease. Uh, the large attendance of world-renowned experts attending here in this meeting will lead a high quality, I'm sure, uh, high quality work that will be done here in Rio de Janeiro. I have no doubt. Uh, it is also a pleasure to be here with you in this workshop because it's uh, organized by the WIN, uh, the Worldwide Insecticide Network an international consortium made of 15 very famous institutions, I think. Three of them are French, the Institut de, Institut de Recherche pour le de, Développement, IRD, uh, le Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique, uh, CNRS, et l'Institut Pasteur-Guyane. Uh, actually, these French institutions are worldwide recognized as center of excellence and are particularly active here in Brazil. And I would like to emphasize that the very efficient Franco-Brazilian research partnership, uh, and we have developing more uh, together uh, more than 30 joint search institutions. And I think it's not the 31st that we are going to be more, more of that. In 2012, Brazil and France signed an agreement about health in French Guiana. You know, at the border between France and Brazil, we are the, big, the, the biggest uh, frontier, you say, border, are with France and Brazil. Uh, for France, is Brazil. So France and Brazil have been working together since then, <clears throat> and the French embassy in Brasilia and the French consulate here in Rio de Janeiro continue to bring strong support on this matter. So working together is one of the key to the fight this world spread disease. And I wish you, uh, them, a fully workshop and a very good stay here in Rio de Janeiro. I hope none of you will be stung by a mosquito. Okay, thank you very much. Bom dia. Em nome do Instituto Evaldo Cruz, eu gostaria de dar as boas-vindas a todos e parabenizar pela organização deste evento, pela iniciativa de reunir cientistas de diversos países do mundo para debater sobre um dos problemas mais relevantes no controle de vetores de arboviroses emergentes, a resistência dos inseticidas. É importante alertar que no uso dos inseticidas deve ser o uso dos inseticidas deve ser realizado de forma coerente. Antes, coerente. Essa a forma de usar dessa medida deve ser como uma estratégia complementar e não como um método de prevenção, pois o controle químico como controle químico de forma indiscriminada pode ser uma ameaça ao controle desses insetos. Parabenizo a todos, a, pela a todos a organização do evento 
em especial ao pesquisador Ademir Martins, que lidera no âmbito do IOC. Desejo a todos um evento de excelente discussões ao longo desse workshop. Muito obrigada a todos. Good morning to all of you. <coughs> On behalf of WHO, basically the Neglected Tropical Disease Department, uh, we are really delighted to be here and uh, to see all the participants from all the collaborating institutions. It's really a pleasure. The last two years, actually, the arboviruses have really taught us a very good lesson because we have neglected that area for a very long time and it is continuing to be neglected. Actually, five days ago, there was a special roundtable meeting in the British House of Commons, and dengue was actually classed as neglected of the neglected. So because this is really the true picture. And the basic issue here is two mosquitoes causing havoc, causing four different diseases in different parts of the world. So you have dengue, chikungunya, zika, and yellow fever, all caused by basically two primary vectors. So here we really have a, a challenge of management of Aedes across the board, and it is a complex issue, and the health system has to really adapt itself, especially to the urban surroundings in which this mosquito breeds. The, of course, the evidence base is one of the most important thing, and we really need tools with very sound evidence base. Now, in the neglected tropical disease field, Actually, dengue is again lagging behind other diseases which are transmitted by vectors. For example, lymphatic filariasis, chagas, onco, leishmaniasis, all of them have got goals of elimination. And we are far from it. We haven't even achieved control before we talk of elimination. So we really have miles to go, but I think we have made a very good beginning. There are very with many new tools coming into the fray, and several of them are currently under, under uh, development and trials. So things are looking very promising in the future, and including, uh, I must admit, the vaccine development also. There's a vaccine pipeline in all these diseases. The most important component for entomology and vector control is resistance management. And uh, again, dengue uh, and Aedes resistance management lags behind malaria in many, many ways, but we are scaling up our activities in the next coming years, mainly to determine diagnostic dosages, make sure that uh, the test papers are available across the world. All those efforts are really going to scale up in the next couple of years. So there is, there's a lot of development in, in, in our uh, area of work. We are expanding. And as, as uh, the next two days, you will hear more about what we call the global vector control response, which is a request from our member countries to develop a paper for the World Health Assembly and before that to the executive board. So all these things are, are happening right now and there's a lot of progress being made. So without further ado, I really hope that this meeting with such a fantastic uh, array of experts around would be very productive and we would be able to scale up resistance management and uh, the networking among all the partners. Uh, lastly, I also wish to thank our host, uh, Ministry of Health, Fio Cruz, and of course, IRD colleagues for the excellent organization. Thank you very much. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> the um, dear representant of the Ministry of Health of Brazil, uh, cher Monsieur le représentant du Consul uh, de France, the uh, Vice Director of Fiocruz, dear colleagues of WHO and PAHO, dear member of the WIN Network, and dear colleagues, all of them. <laughs> I'm very, very happy to welcome you to this meeting in the name of our TDRA director, John Rida, who has 
who cannot join us, and also in my personal name. Um, I remember that when we started discussing this um, necessity of having a network on insecticide resistant management with our WHO colleague last year around September, October, Zika has not hit in Latin America. And then a few months after we have selected this consortium, we had this public health emergency declared for the Zika virus uh, in, in America, um, meaning that we were really timely in organizing this activity. Um, just to give you a few words about TDR, TDR is a special program for research uh, for WHO. So what we are doing, we are three units uh, one is on capacity building and the other two units are on research. My unit is vector environment and society uh, unit and we are supporting activity, research activity, research projects and also networking activities on, um, I would say, filling gaps on knowledge and evidences that are needed for a best implementation of the existing tool uh, in vector control and control and prevention of vector bone disease generally, and also in collaboration with the WHO colleagues uh, to better provide evidences for having a, a better implementation of these, um, these tools. Um, so, um, I'm again very happy to be here. I thank very much the, organize, the uh, organization, <laughs> which has uh, well done. And I also note that I think all the world region are represented in this room, which is by itself exceptional. Uh, we see that very rarely in scientific meetings. We see that more often in WHO and United System. But I'm, I'm very pleased to have all the world in the room. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And I will speak in Portuguese. Bom dia a todos. É um prazer estar aqui em nome de nossa diretora, a doutora Cleice Tien, da Organização Pan-Americana da Saúde. Quero transmitir a todos o nosso agradecimento por essa oportunidade de estar aqui. A Organização Pan-Americana da Saúde vem, ao longo desses anos, trabalhando com os países, com os institutos, com as universidades, buscando desenvolver uma estratégia é, concreta para que avancemos no controle das enfermidades transmitidas por vetores. Nada mais oportuno que, nesse momento, ter este, esta, esse workshop no Brasil, onde vamos discutir um importante problema, que é para nós, para nós a questão da resistência aos inseticidas. Tem sido um desafio manter um controle eficiente se não temos uma, um instrumento que seja adequado. Utilizar adequadamente o instrumento hoje é um desafio para todos nós, inclusive na região das Américas e, e fora da nossa região. Temos que avançar nesse ponto, ter estratégias concretas e fortes para enfrentar é, a ressurgência de doenças transmissíveis por vetores ou introdução de novas enfermidades. E ter instrumentos eficazes nesse momento é fundamental para apoiar os países nessa luta. Todos nós estamos abertos às discussões, temos que estar pensando no futuro, quais são as novas tecnologias que podem ser utilizadas, qual a melhor forma de utilizá-las, isso sempre no marco de um manejo integrado dessas enfermidades. Queremos agradecer aos organizadores deste evento pela, pela, pelo sucesso que vai ser, com certeza, a nossos colegas da mesa por essa oportunidade, e desejo a todos um bom dia de trabalho nesses, outros, nesses próximos três dias que nos acompanham. Muito obrigado. Bom dia a todos. Good morning. Uh, first, on behalf of the organizing committee, I'd like to thank the following institution for promoting this international initiative, the Minister of Health of Brazil, 
uh, the General Council of France in Brazil, the Osvaldo Cruz Institute, the World Health Organization, represented by the Special Program for Training and Research in Tropical Disease, the TDR, uh, the Neglect Tropical Disease Department, NTD, and the Pan-American Health Organization, uh, PAHO, or OPAS for us in Brazil. We are also very grateful to our sponsors for their financial contribution, including uh, WHO TDR, the U.S. Center of Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, the Instituto Oswaldo Cruz, IOC, the Ministerio de Saúde do Governo do Federal do Brasil, Bayer and Sanofi Pasteur, the French Institute for Research and Development, IRD, the French National Center of Scientific Research, CNRS, uh, the French Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Um, as Dr. Eliane, the Vice Director of Oswaldo uh, Institute, has just mentioned, we are very happy for hosting this uh, precious event. Uh, in the first decades of the last century, uh, Oswaldo Cruz, who was a preeminent physician working in public health here in Brazil, he has already led uh, campaigns against uh, the so-called, at that time, Stegomia fasciata or Culex aegypti, in order to combat yellow fever at that time, which was a major health burden. Uh, in the past, our efforts were able to eliminate Aedes aegypti from our country, as well as from several regions in Latin America. Of course, they faced many different circumstances from today in all aspects, uh, scientific aspects, but also cultural and political. Anyway, here we are, 100 years later, uh, trying to understand why these mosquitoes are expanding their distribution around the world, becoming well-established where they never existed and emerging from where uh, they had been eradicated. So the main goal of this meeting is to bring people together with multivariate perspectives from entomological science, supergovernmental agencies, stakeholders, health agency, industry, and community uh, in order to share information regarding the control of vectors of the arboviruses going deeper in the subject of insecticide resistance. This week, we'll be discussing the knowledge of scientific community in this theme and identifying the gaps of what you have been neglecting attention so far and what deserves a special focus. Additionally, current well succeed in prospective alternative ways of control will also be presented and discussed. So today, we have two scientific sessions in which we discuss cause and consequence of the expansion of arboviral disease and vectors, and in the afternoon, insecticide resistance and arboviral vectors. Tomorrow, we'll start the morning with innovative vector control approach for the vector of emerging uh, arboviruses. And in the afternoon, you have a representative of industry companies presenting the session, private-public partnership for the development of new tools for arbovirus vector control. Finally, on Wednesday morning, we'll have two simultaneous roundtable, uh, one about new tools for arbovirus vector control, another improve insecticide resistance surveillance and management, from which conclusions and recommendations will be then presented here in this room uh, by the reporters of each roundtable. In the afternoon, we'll have the second WIN Network meeting, a closed session for WIN members and external advisory board. Uh, so, hope you can now share loads of information, have time to know better each other, discuss projects and perspectives, and at the end of this week, hope you can have in hands a good documentation to support vector control strategies. Welcome to Rio. Thank you very much for your presence.